I think you'll be surprised at how similar a lot of us have experienced our skincare journeys. So I'm gonna go through a list of 13 steps that I think a lot of us share. Step one, for the first 20 years of your life, you use skincare carefree. Step two, you have an issue with a product one time, so you start Googling. Step three, you find Paula's Choice Ingredient Dictionary and you become scared of fragrance and alcohol and even eye creams. Step four, you Google further. This time you find the EWG. This is where sh really hits the fan. You spend six months only buying clean and natural. Parabens, ew. ew. Step six, you then spend the next six months lecturing everyone you've ever met about their toxic skincare habits. Step seven, you realize one day that your skin isn't looking that great. You realize maybe natural isn't best. Maybe the EWG was wrong all along. Step eight, you find a product that you loved using before you discover the EWG or one that goes against their guidelines. Hallelujah, your skin starts thriving. Step nine, you start Googling again. Only this time you stumble across Caroline Hirons and or Gothamista. You realize they use all sorts of products from all kinds of brands, even eye cream. Step 10, now you're comfortable with fragrance and parabens, but you stumble across a website called Inky Dakota. Step 11, you're an elite formulator and inky expert in your head and you lecture everyone you've ever met about the 1% line. If an ingredient is not at the top of the inky list, Ew. Step 12, then you stumble across Lab Muffin and everything you think you know, you don't know. Step 13, and now you're back to where you started and doing skincare carefree. Let me know how close I got. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.